So dramatic. It was within arm's reach. It was like right here. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Kevin. And I'm Nathan, and today we're in Toledo, Spain. Yes, I've been wanting to come here for a long time now, so let's go and check it out. Just like we did to get to Granada, we took a high-speed train from Madrid to get here. There is a lot of history here, and there is a good reason for that. The city is believed to have been settled in the 5th century before Christ. We started today off with one of Nathan's many trails, but today I'm so happy that we took that because we got this view. Toledo is a beautiful and historic city located just south of Madrid. It is known for its rich history and diverse culture. Here you will find stunning architecture. I mean, just look at that. Additionally, the city is renowned for its traditional craftsmanship, particularly the production of steel and swords. Don't be surprised to find many shops around town offering these goods. We have finally reached the other side of the river and Toledo. It's a walled city and this is one of the gates. So let's go. All right, so we started over here and then we took that trail and it walked a lot. We walked over here and then we took lots of pictures right here. We kept walking. And then, now we are here. I don't know if you knew, but I love Gothic architecture. You might notice the chains on the facade of this monastery. The ones belong to Christian prisoners liberated from Muslim Granada. There are many attractions to see in Toledo. A lot of them can be visited using the tourist bracelet, which will set you back 12 euros. It includes seven sites and we'll link them on the description below. Otherwise, most sites will cost you four euros each. We got ourselves a tourist bracelet, so we're going to try to visit all seven sites that this allows you to go in. The first one we visited was the Monastery of San Juan de los Reyes, which was built by the Catholic monarchs to commemorate the victory at the Battle of Toro in 1476. It was completed in 1504. Here, you'll be mesmerized by its stunning Gothic architecture and its beautiful courtyard. Fun fact, this church was originally intended to be the burial place for the Catholic monarchs, but they were ultimately interred in Granada. While in Spain, keep an eye out for signs that say Pellegrino. It's a warning that there's danger around, such as low ceilings or falling debris. Let's go. Look how worried these people are. I've heard of a daisy chain, but this is a lazy chain. Next stop, we visited Santa Maria La Blanca, which is a historic synagogue. It dates back to the 12th century, and it is considered one of the finest examples of Mudejar architecture, which is a style that offers lots of decorative Islamic art. All right, it is time for lunch. Here we had carcamusa, which is the typical dish here in Toledo. It is a pork and vegetable stew with tomato sauce. This painting is known as the Burial of the Count of Orgath by renowned painter El Greco. You can find it at the Santo Tomé Church. This masterpiece shows both the earthly and heavenly realms, and it captures the mystical and spiritual elements of that event. Dost thou want a sword of Damascus steel? Mm, no, I think I have enough at home. Our next stop is not included with our tourist bracelets, but it is something to check out if you're into art. This museum is free on Sundays and after 2 o'clock on Saturdays. And guess what day it is today? Saturday. This building makes me think of the Palacio Nazarias in the Alhambra. The museum is located in the Jewish quarter of Toledo and offers a fascinating insight into the legacy of this influential Spanish painter. Next, we visited the Iglesia del Salvador, which is a hidden treasure in the Jewish quarter of the city. This church offers insight into the ancient history of Toledo, as you can find remnants from Visigoth times within its structure. Since the church dates back to the 13th century, you can find a mixture of architectural styles here, including Mudejar, Gothic, and Renaissance events. We are now at the Real Colegio Doncellas Nobles, a former girls' school founded in 1551 by the Archbishop of Toledo, Juan Martinez Celecio. The goal of this institution was to educate young women to be good mothers. 
What made this colegio stand out from other institutions of the time was the fact that girls from any social class could enter, as long as they were of quote-unquote clean blood, meaning old Christians by virtue of not having Muslim, Jewish, or any other, again, quote-unquote, undesired religious ancestry. Sounds a lot like Salazar Slytherin must have run this place at some point. Moving on to the Church of the Jesuits, aka Iglesia San Ildefonso, it is a Baroque-style church built in the 17th century. A visit here will grant you access to its beautiful altarpiece, paintings, and sculptures. Additionally, you can go up to the bell towers where you can get awesome views of the city. Oh my god, I can't. Not for the faint of heart. Okay, it wasn't that bad. Whew. So Nathan was very upset because there's his net right there, but then he dropped his phone and it landed right there on the edge. So oh yeah. Oh my gosh, so dramatic. It was within arm's reach, it was like right here. Right. But if you keep going, there is an unobstructed view. Just be careful with that phone, Nathan. Let's go down. There's a Pidgey right there. Okay, we're moving on to the last destination included with the tourist bracelet. This is the Mosque of Cristo de la Luz, a Catholic chapel and a former mosque here in the city. It is located in an area of the city that used to be known as Medina, where many wealthy Muslims used to live. It might not look like much to some, but it is more than a thousand years old. It also has a nice garden that offers great views of the city. That's the gate we entered through this morning. Toledo is known as the city of three cultures because within these walls, Christians, Muslims, and Jews lived together in relative peace for centuries. You can see evidence of that in their architecture, cultures, and traditions. This is the Toledo Cathedral, which goes way back to the 13th century. It is Gothic in style and is considered as one of the best examples of their style in Spain. But the feast for your eyes doesn't end there. It also features famous artwork inside. Unfortunately, you guessed it, they had a wedding here. Go figure, so we didn't get to visit the inside. Here's a fun fact for you. Do you know that Toledo used to be the capital of Spain? That was until 1560 when Philip II decided to move his court from here to Madrid. We're very excited. We got ourselves a sweet treat that is from this area. It's called Mazapan. You might otherwise know it as Marzipan. We have a variety box here. Very yummy, very yummy. We also got ourselves some Toledanas, which is a Marzipan cookie. Okay, I'm gonna try my Toledana. Why do they call it a Toledana? Uh, because it's from Toledo. <laughs> mm. It was really sweet. It was really good. It reminds me of an ojarasca from Mexico, or at least from Monterey. Mm, pretty good. Overall, this is a beautiful city with lots of history. You can come here and see its wonderful architecture, enjoy its delicious food, and visit its historic sites. And it is definitely worth a day trip from Madrid if you're visiting. Let us know in the comments below if you'd like to visit Toledo. Hey all you wanderers out there, thanks for watching our channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe to find out where Rebecca bound to next. And remember, holy Toledo!